in Africa, we have the concept of Ubuntu, which is, I am because you are. It takes a village to raise a child. And I think we saw that concept of Ubuntu right here at Camp Next Gen. When we first started planning a camp for 2022, we knew we wanted to go to a new region and we knew that we wanted to partner with folks on ground. I had a conversation with a colleague, Dashana Ramji, and we were just talking about the work that we did in Nigeria. And she shared with me that she had a passion and a deep desire to give back to her own community in Zimbabwe. Back in London, one of the things I've always thought of doing is coming back to my home country and giving back. That is what I was looking for. I was looking for people to partner up with. And literally, it took having those conversations with people, which put you in touch with the multitude of others. It was just a rippling effect. And suddenly, we had a plan of action. I called Itara, and the ball got rolling from there. We were asked if we would be able to organize, and it's what we do. We bring people together, we bring children together to help build them up, help find solutions for dreams and ideas and just to motivate them. And that's what this Next Generation Camp has done. With the Next Gen Camp, we were focusing on science, we were focusing on sporting activities. A lot of the children we worked with come from vulnerable communities. So for example, we were working with a community from the Snake Park. It is a small neighborhood that is in the middle of Harare. And this area, you find that most children have parents who do not allow them to move out of that community. So getting an opportunity for them to come to another school to see different things was eye-opening for them. Every time we choose a sport, we want to make it local and make it make sense for the children. ACES Academy being a resource to us that volunteered their time and their talent with these children was amazing. One, they were professional in their own right. They run training academies. And then two, they spoke the local language. In Zimbabwe, there's a lot of talent, a lot of young kids from different areas, a lot of academies trying to nurture all these talents. We don't only focus on soccer only. We need to offer these kids the educational side. So this is part of what is happening here. It's amazing. Being able to bring in professional commercial drone pilots that are native to Zimbabwe, that was really special too, because if a student is presenting an idea and saying, I want a, an agricultural drone company, getting a professional drone pilot to validate and say that, yes, we do that. We do get contracts for that. They're able to see how this small idea, this fun activity at camp can really be, become a career. Today, they were sharing their stories about how they're going to use drones in their community. And guess what they did? They thought, I've got to bring water to the elderly. I've got to bring medicine to people who are in need. They thought that all on their own because they see the need in their community. It's always so good for our young kids to see that anything is possible and it doesn't matter your background or where you've come from or who you are or which country you're from. It just shows them that they can really dream big. How can we turn this from 150 people to 1,500 to 15,000? Because these boys and girls are going to leave with an experience of a lifetime. And that education they got both in sport and in STEAM has helped them branch out into society. Sometimes we really think that making a difference in someone's life, we have to give them $100,000 or we have to buy them a new house. It's as simple as serving your time, only your time. If you have a love for travel, 
and you have a love for children and you have a love to give back, come on a trip. If talent is your strength, we have a place where you're needed. If time is what you can give, we can take some of your time. And if your resources and your treasure is something that you can give, we have a place for that as well. Ah, wait a buzz, I want to buzz in his room. Why didn't God ambush your company? 